So, hello again and welcome to my next workflow video. My name is Raida Boost and in this brief video we take a look how we can import our bridge that we have designed in Autodesk InfraWorks into Civil 3D or Autodesk Revit or Autodesk Structural Bridge Design. The obvious meaning why we want to do that is that uh, once we have a preliminary design in Autodesk InfraWorks then we might make some kind of detailed design. Is it a road designer who takes account this bridge in road engineering works or maybe it's a bridge designer who will use Autodesk Revit or structural bridge design. So in either cases you need to have this bridge and we simply take a look how we can import this same bridge using bridge components into different packages. So let's start. Let's first take a look into Autodesk InfraWorks. As you see I, I do have a quite a simple bridge in here but uh, it has been designed with bridge components so that's the strengths of the Autodesk InfraWorks. So you have abutments and uh, bearings and uh, also bridge tech and once you export this bridge into different packages those components will stay along. Let's make a first export Actually, we are opening up this project, which is quite a huge one, but uh, uh, we only concentrate on this bridge. And uh, let's open it up with Autodesk Civil 3D. I do need to close this InfraWorks model before I can open it uh, with Autodesk Civil 3D, because uh, currently I'm using the same uh, database and as we all know, we just can't open same file with different um, packages in Windows-based systems. So let's close this down. I will close InfraWorks. And now let's open up Civil 3D. Once my Civil 3D is loaded up, I can then ensure that my empty project is in the same coordinate system as my Autodesk InfraWorks model. And to do that, I go to settings and then right click my drawing name, edit drawing settings. And then I select my coordinate system. And I'm currently in Estonia or my project is in Estonia. So I'm using coordinate system of Estonia and apply and then OK. And now I can open up my InfraWorks database. But first you do need to understand in where your project um, sits. By default, when you create InfraWorks project, those will be placed into documents, Autodesk InfraWorks models, and then under Autodesk 360, you can find different model catalogs. And they are named with some number codes. But you also see a date modified, and if you open up uh, some particular folder, then you can see a same project name as it is in your InfraWorks model. Now my model has been placed into different folder so you can always place your InfraWorks models also into different locations. The reason can be that you may want to keep those models in one particular location or maybe you have more space in there. So also in my case my model is in this location so if you remember this was my project name that was opened up and I do need to point to this location once I start import my InfraWorks model into Civil 3D. So I just copy this location and now in Civil 3D I go to InfraWorks and I can use Open Model. Yes, you can see also import IMX but for that you do need to export from InfraWorks IMX file first. I do prefer Open Model and then I can copy and paste my model location and then I can select my model itself SQLite which is database format. I open this one and if I have my coordinate system correctly changed then I can see that uh, in post models I do have the same system. So otherwise I may see a warning and this should be obviously changed before you continue. You can do that uh, change also from here, set the coordinate system. But currently I'm all good. I can decide if I want to import the full InfraWorks model 
or if I'm interested about area of interest. If I select this area of interest, then I can select a smaller area. But currently, I'm also interested about the full model. Yes, of course. If you design just a bridge, then you probably need to focus on the bridge itself and maybe the connecting roads. Or if you are a road engineer, then you might want to have a full model because your road network is much bigger than your design. It's your choice, but uh, yes, if you use extents, then it might take um, same time as a small area because once you select a smaller area, you have to or software starts to calculate or make your model kind of uh, smaller or filtering it. Yes, and this may take some time. If you have this extents, you still have a possibility to refine selection set. For example, if I click refine selection set, well, this model is actually quite a big one, 3 by 4 kilometers. And uh, it does have lots of objects, design objects. And that's the main reason why this refine selection set may take some time. And uh, once you see a list of different objects, then you can simply select or deselect that you really want to import. Because if you are a road engineer, then maybe you just want to have those specific connected roads with your bridge. And uh, in that case, of course, you have to name your objects in InfraWorks so that uh, you can more easily select those. You can see that uh, my roads are divided into planning roads, which are basic ones. And then I do have design roads and component roads, which are more specific to road engineer. And also, if I scroll down, I can see that uh, I do have one bridge in my project. And this is also selected. So in here, once again, you can deselect different components, objects that you don't want to import or specifically you want to import. So you have filters in the top row as well. I hit console right now, meaning that uh, I will open the full model. So let's do that, open model. And I can see that uh, I almost have 2000 entities and one by one, they will be loaded into my Civil 3D. And then, of course, I can save my Civil 3D drawing. And after that, I can work with just Civil 3D. Yes, uh, it may take some time if your models are big. For me, or in my case, it was about 7-8 minutes to finally get imported. Once your model is imported, you obviously want to save your Autodesk Civil 3D drawing because you just don't want to re-import once something happens in between. I do a save, save as, drawing, and I do suggest that uh, you create separate folder for your Civil 3D drawing. And namely because if your models that you import from InfraWorks are quite big ones, then also your Civil 3D drawing will be divided into several files. Namely, you have separate files for your surface models. So I create separate folder and then it is easier to show what I do mean by that. I give a name and hit save. Yes, I do get a warning that uh, separate files, MMS is the ending, will be created because once I do import InfraWorks models, by default, I do have three different surfaces. One is existing surface and transportation surface and also proposed surface. The most important surface is probably existing surface because I start to remodel in Civil 3D anyway. But let's try to zoom in into our project. Here we are. And also because my project or drawing is in correct coordinate system, I can use WMS service or default geolocation from Civil 3D. I do say my drawing once in a while. And if I open up this folder into where I saved my Civil 3D drawing, I can actually see that uh, I also have, in addition to my DWG file, which is only 50 megabytes, I also have files called MMS. And those do represent uh, my surface data. If my surfaces are 
huge or big enough, they will be saved into additional file. And those files will be referenced into my DWG. So I can't rename those, I can't delete those. And they are much bigger ones, almost 200 megabytes each. But let's focus on our bridge now. So if I zoom in, I can see that uh, my bridge is in the center of my drawing. And if I try to select, then I can actually see that my bridge components can be selected separately, yes? So component or component group by component group. For example, in here I have selected uh, Civil Bridge Tech and in newer versions of Civil 3D, you can see that also parameters will be shown what were used inside InfraWorks to design your bridge. You are not able to modify, so Civil 3D is not meant for bridge design anyway. Yes, you can recall some previous versions of Civil 3D in where some additional plugins were available to actually start to bridge design inside Civil 3D. But then it was uh, kind of um, discontinued and uh, the main reason was that uh, you started your preliminary design in InfraWorks. And now, once you start your bridge design in InfraWorks, then you can import this bridge into Civil 3D and then you can continue with your road design. But the good thing is that uh, your bridge components do have full parametric shape and full parametric um, form, which means that uh, you can actually account for those parameters and uh, also the number values if you do need to. For example, if I select um, Curta Group, again, I can see attributes. And also because those are now separate components which were not available beforehand, it also means that you can attach different additional information or properties. For example, if I go to Manage and then I select Define Property Sets and maybe I want to create a new property set, new one, just a quick show up. And if I select Apply to, then from this selection set, I can also see that I do have now separate components for my bridge design. So which helps me to attach some additional and specific properties, attributes into my components. Now, if I cancel this out and if in some reason I want to get um, some basic, let's say AutoCAD 3D shapes, then of course, I have a possibility to explode this design. But let's first uh, pick my bridge components and uh, maybe I use Object Viewer. I can see that, okay, I was selecting only one abutment, but uh, in general, I can still see that I do have my bridge components, yes. And if in some reason I want to get uh, basic AutoCAD shapes in terms of meshes or 3D solids, then I can do that. Of course, uh, I will probably do a save as first, and then I can select Civil Bridge Girder or any other bridge components. I can uh, type in X as explode into my command line. And once I carry this out, I can now select my component again. And now this is block reference. But of course, if you explode something, you lose also those parameters. Now block reference is something again um, familiar for AutoCAD user and uh, you can do blocks uh, based on any kind of objects, also 3D objects. If you want to get behind of this block reference, you can do explode once more. And now you see that you have original AutoCAD 3D object or object type. So whatever the reason is, remember that uh, you can do that. You can use original bridge components that were imported from InfraWorks but uh, you can also explode it uh, twice, meaning that uh, you can get a block reference and also you can get mesh or solid object. And uh, maybe the one and the only reason why you want to do that is that you have to account that uh, in some export workflows, 
those bridge components are not yet supported. For example, if you want to export uh, your design from Civil 3D into IFC using IFC export, then if I select options and objects, I can see from this dialog that only general components are supported, included of course block references, but also AutoCAD 3D basic shapes. But if you want to export this bridge and if you use original bridge components that were coming from InfraWorks, then you might fail, meaning that uh, at least in current version in Civil 3D 2022, it wasn't supported. And uh, probably it will be um, to some extent, of course. And uh, also we do depend on IFC schemas and uh, newer versions of it uh, will support also components and then also this library will be updated in Civil 3D. But this is a current workflow in where you may want to explode those components. This is a workflow uh, once you want to do something with your bridge inside Civil 3D. For example, uh, using it uh, for better road design. But, uh, what happens if you want to carry your workflows in Autodesk Revit? What kind of workflows you have to use then? So let's take a look also to that. Once again, I'm in InfraWorks and uh, I have a same bridge. And if I want to carry it over into Autodesk Revit, then I have to export my bridge into appropriate format. For that, I will select my bridge so that uh, my properties will show up a bridge and bridge name. And then I do a right click. And from here, I select publish, civil structures and create new one. Now I can select location. I will use my desktop again and maybe a separate folder, calling it Revit. And then I'm using a default name for my IMX file. So my bridge will be exported in IMX format. I hit save and then I may want to include also pack up my proposal name, meaning that um, I have uh, my preliminary design. And then once I get updated version in my Revit or any other package, then if I import it into InfraWorks, then I do have two different proposals or versions. But I will leave that empty right now. So I hit create and my civil structures or currently my bridge will be published. Again, I will close my InfraWorks because currently I don't need InfraWorks anymore, but I will focus uh, on Revit. I will open up Revit and using Revit 2022. Once Revit is loaded up, I create a new project, new, and maybe I will pick some structural template, which is default one currently, and I create a new project. Okay, now if I want to import my IMX file that came from InfraWorks, I do need to have a special plugin installed into my Autodesk Revit, if you don't have it, you can grab one from Autodesk desktop app. But if it is installed, then you have to focus into civil structures. So if you don't have this uh, section, then you haven't installed it. And uh, you can find it from Autodesk desktop app or also manage.autodesk.com. Now, quite important step before you start to import your IMX file is that uh, at first, you can use category mapping workflow. So you can see that civil structures do have category mapping. If I click on that button, I can see that currently I'm importing my bridge into Revit specific components. For example, my tech will be bridge tech, my apartment will be apartments. Well, obviously it is quite logic, but in some cases you may want to import your bridge in a way that you don't use bridge components, or maybe you want to make a change in, in some areas, yes? But uh, also you may want to turn it into generic models. This was a kind of workflow in previous versions of um, Autodesk Revit 2020. And as such, you can actually select 
to what you want to include your bridge components. In today's version, or let's say starting from 2022, these components are much more supported, meaning that uh, you can also create schedules and uh, add parameters to those specific components. If you start to import your bridge, then maybe this default uh, setting is quite OK. I will hit OK and then will import my civil structures. It will notify that I do have to have a shared parameters file and uh, I will create one. So shared parameters and maybe I will include this as well into my Revit folder. I also do need to save my Revit model before I start importing. And again, I'm selecting this same folder that I created, Revit. Maybe I include some specific name to my project file and I hit save. And now I can select my IMX file. I will select it, hit open, and now it will be loaded into my Revit project. And if I go to into 3D view, for example, default 3D view from the top button row tab, I can see that now I do have my bridge inside Autodesk Revit. I may want to delete some of those components, which I don't need. For example, in here I do have separate payment components that were designed uh, in InfraWorks and uh, because of the surface elevation I have a split in between but I can obviously delete those. If I want to delete those uh, I can select those components then I can select unpin and now I can delete those and also if I don't need uh, those components as well I can do that same workflow. If you want to carry out now Revit specific uh, workflows, you can do those. If you select some specific component, you can see that, okay, this has an apartment also in Revit. And uh, you can see different parameters, as you saw also in Civil 3D. And all parameters are included. And uh, of course, those help to make those redesign workflows. Also, if you go to manage and then select project parameters and then select add then under categories if you also ensure that uh, infrastructure is included then you can see bridge specific components like bridge text bridge framing and as such and you can attach parameters also onto those categories and of course if you then decide to make a schedule for example view and schedule schedule and quantities and ensure that the filter list will include infrastructure then also from here you have access to bridge specific components now this workflow is much enhanced when we compare with previous versions of uh, Autodesk Revit or Autodesk InfraWorks and it will definitely help you out once you need more collaboration workflows and uh, of course, in Autodesk Revit, if you work in Autodesk Revit, you can export this model into robot structural analysis. Or maybe you want to carry out some more specific design in terms of bridges in structural bridge design. It's up to you, but uh, those are current possibilities. And uh, yeah, please try those out. Please comment and please subscribe to my channel to see some more workflows. Bye bye.